Outer Banks is one of my favorite shows ever, and I haven't watched it since like last July, I think. Um, I watched it twice, you know, I started it in April when it first came out, and then I watched it again um, later in the summer, and it was just so good. It kept me going through the early pandemic, and now I'm going to watch it again because they wrapped filming on season two, and I'm so excited for season two to come out. So... I'm going to be doing an Outer Banks marathon with some themed challenges so I'm not just sitting on my bed watching all day. And I'm hopefully going to be finishing this within 24 hours. I'm not just going to sit and do it all straight because I think that would be very, very tiring and kind of boring. I mean, it's a really great show, but I don't think I can sit still for eight hours or however long it is. The first challenge I'm going to be doing, well, it's not really a challenge, I'm just going to be making um, one of my Outer Banks themed choker necklaces. They're made out of embroidery thread. They're super fun. I started them last year on my Etsy shop. I'm going to make more and I'm going to take new pictures of them and kind of like revamp the listing for when season two comes out because, you know, I want there to be a whole new wave of like my stuff on my Etsy shop. So, this is the first thing, and then once I'm done with the first two episodes, I will be going out and jumping on the trampoline and listening to an Outer Banks playlist that I found on Spotify. So I have four challenges, I think, so between every two episodes, I'll do a challenge. So I'm thinking that tonight I'm going to watch the first two episodes and then do a challenge, and then tomorrow morning I will start with episode three and four and then just go on from there so that I'm not watching it all in one go because I think that would be really hard for me. So yeah, I'm very, very excited because Outer Banks is so good. So I finished the first two episodes and it's it's really good. I love this show. I mean, it's not as good as it was the first time I watched it, but I know that it gets better. Like the first two episodes are kind of like setting the stage, but um, I'm, I'm very excited still. So I am going to take a break. I'm going to go jump on the trampoline, get some food, and then I will continue this Outer Banks Marathon tomorrow. Oh, also I want to update you on my necklace. So I'm this far into it, which is... I think it's like two-thirds of it, so then I will show you guys when it's done, and then I'll take pictures of it. I don't know if I'll do that in this video, but I just wanted to show you what I have so far. So if I can make a necklace almost in two episodes, then I'm going to be making a lot. So I might move on to a different craft, but I just wanted to show you guys that. So I finished watching the next two episodes this morning. So episodes three and four, I kind of forgot how like violent this show is. Um, it's still really good, of course, but I just was kind of caught off guard by it. Um, I love this show so much, and especially episode four. I think that might be my favorite episode. It just gives me a good feeling. There's no like major, well, I guess there is major violence. Hmm. Okay, I just like episode four, but the next challenge was to pick out a Pogue outfit. So although it is like raining and gross outside, um, my plan was to go penny boarding, but that was before I knew what the weather was going to be like. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that. Maybe I'll try to do that tomorrow. Although I do think it's going to rain again, so I don't want to bring my penny board out in the rain. So that was going to be the next challenge after this. So... I don't know what I'm exactly going to do about that, but maybe I'll come up with something different. So I'm going to show you the outfit I came up with for my Pogue style dressing up. So first is this sage green necklace that I made while I was watching episodes 1 through 3. Um, I love this necklace and I can't wait to wear it. It's just the colors are so pretty and I'm going to take pictures of it also um, sometime in the future because I think it'll be a really nice example of what I do with my necklaces so I can use it as the Etsy um, listing. So to go along with that I'm going to be wearing this really baggy, loose, soft um, 
shirt from American Eagle. It's like a v-neck. It's got buttons at the top. It's just very like chill but comfy and I think it'll go with the vibe hopefully. I'm going to be wearing a bikini top under that just to give the whole like vibe also because Kiara is always wearing a bikini top under her shirt. And then finally some jean shorts from American Eagle. Um, I might be putting on jeans after I try this outfit on because I do believe I'm going to be pretty cold. It's like in the 50s outside and raining so it's always pretty cold in my house anyway so I'll probably be covering up while I watch the next episodes. But yeah, so I'm going to put this outfit on and then I will watch episodes 5 and 6 and hopefully I'll come up with another challenge for myself. Um, I'm not sure exactly because I can't really penny board right now, but we'll see. So yeah. So here we are. I finished episodes 5 and 6 and I'm wearing the outfit and I'm super, super cold because look, it's snowing outside and it is mid-April and... That's just not okay with me. We haven't had snow on the ground in weeks. It's been really nice out. It's been like 60s and even up to 70s some days. And now we have this. So I'm not going to be able to go penny boarding, sadly. So I couldn't think of any other challenge to do. Um, I might just skip a challenge this time. I really, really just need to get into some warmer clothes, but I just wanted to show you guys the outfit. So, it's pretty comfortable, actually. Um, this shirt is super soft, and, like, I love this shirt. I just don't ever wear it for some reason. Um, also, this choker is super cute. And my bathing suit, of course, is... It's very not weather appropriate. We'll say that. Um, also, shorts. You can't really see the end. Yeah, but I do need to change into some sweatpants before I start watching the next episodes because I'm really cold right now. So, I am going to change and then get started watching episodes 7 and 8. I've been having a lot of fun with this, like, challenges in between and watching Outer Banks. It's just such a good show. It's so much fun. It just brings back, like, happy memories when there was still hope of, like, the pandemic only lasting a few weeks. You remember that? So, it's a very, it was a very funny thought, but, um, you know, we don't have that anymore, so it's nice to, like, go back to that time where everything was still kind of fun, and then now it's, like, we've been stuck in this for a year. So, yeah, I'm gonna change and get watching, and I'll see you guys when I'm done with episodes 7 and 8. So, I finished episode 7 and 8, and now... We are to the final challenge of the video, so this has actually taken several days to watch the series, I'm going to be honest with you guys, because I've been waiting for it to get nice out outside, and it's still not. Thankfully the snow melted, but it was still raining this morning, and I do think it's going to clear up a little bit, but I just don't want to bring my penny board out in the wet weather, so another video I guess, or maybe later before I have to start editing this video, so we'll see about that. But um, one of the challenges I did want to do anyway was to learn Left Hand Free on the guitar, which is like the theme song. So I think that'll be fun and I don't think it's too hard. I'll just learn like the intro. It's a very, very short um, intro, so I'll just learn that and then I'll be on to episodes 9 and 10. And then I'll be back. I'm going to open up the music on my iPad and then we'll see how long this takes me. So I was able to memorize the notes within like two minutes of seeing the tab, so it was really easy. Just playing it right was a little harder. I mean, it always is, but thankfully I was able to get it down. So now it is time to watch episodes 9 and 10, and then I will be done with this marathon. I'm actually surprised it took so long because I love the show so much. I was just waiting to do the challenges. Um, I think the challenges definitely made it more interesting, but it was kind of hard to find like nice weather to do it um thankfully all the ones leading up to now were indoor ones but um except going on the trampoline but I really wish I was able to penny board because that was kind of a big thing you know instead of surfing I penny boarded last year when I was watching it so um I'm still hanging on to a little bit of thread of hope 
that I might be able to get outside and penny board later today, but um, I wouldn't really count on it. So I'm gonna watch the next episodes and then maybe it'll get dry outside. So I finally finished watching Outer Banks season one. It did take me like four days, I think, but I had a lot of fun with this challenge. Although it did take me so long, my goal was originally to do it within 24 hours, but then the weather just did not allow for that. And I mean, I probably could go penny boarding right now, but it's still not the nicest out. It's still kind of wet, kind of cold. So maybe next time. So let me know if you guys like this challenge um, because I had a lot of fun with it. Maybe I'll do that with season two, except have that be the first time I watch through it. I think that could be fun. Um, I definitely forgot how like intense the end of it is. I was like, whoa, this does not get resolved at all. They're still on the run. So very intriguing and I kind of forgot about that so I'm very excited for season two to come out so hopefully they'll resolve that um but yeah I hope you enjoyed watching me do my challenges and watch Outer Banks season one so make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts and check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts and my book at getoutdoorsbook.com and I'll see you guys later bye